a neutron star's wind is moving at 1 million kilometers per hour. And scientists are shocked it's so slow. On February 20th, 2024, the Zrism space mission observed neutron star GX13 plus 1. It was reaching the Eddington limit, the point where radiation becomes so intense it blows matter back into space as a wind. The team expected an ultra-fast outflow. Instead, they found something strange. The wind was moving at 1 million kilometers per hour. That's fast on Earth. But in extreme physics, it's like watching paint dry. Here's why scientists are stunned. When supermassive black holes reach the Eddington limit, their winds scream outward at 20 to 30% of light speed. That's over 200 million kilometers per hour, more than 200 times faster than what GX13 plus one produced. Lead researcher Chris Dunn described it perfectly. It's like looking at the sun through a bank of fog rolling towards us. Everything goes dimmer when the fog is thick. The neutron star wind is slow, dense, and smooth. Black hole winds are ultra-fast, clumpy, and violent. But here's the puzzle. Both systems are at the Eddington limit. Both are powered by radiation pressure. So why are they completely different? The answer lies in temperature. Disks around supermassive black holes are enormous, but cooler. They emit mostly ultraviolet light. Disks around neutron stars are smaller and hotter. They emit X-rays. Ultraviolet light interacts with matter more readily than X-rays. It pushes material more efficiently, generating much faster winds. This discovery, published in Nature in November 2025, refines how we understand energy exchange in extreme environments. It could clarify how black holes influence galaxy growth and the evolution of the cosmos. Sometimes slow is the most surprising speed of all. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science.